to to a channel. My name's Capitan Morgan, and this channel will do anything 40k related. Uh, I play orcs, elder, thousand sons, and space force. I do it for those extra militarium, so you'll see anything on on the channel from those three factions. So I have a friend who play, is playing Tyranids and you'll see me appear on the uh, Edit Beer 40k Necrons and more uh, channel as well uh, going against his Necrons most of the time uh, right, this is videos about my tournament list for this year I've already done, sort of done it I've adapted it since uh, but I want to break it down and go through what, what's what and why I've got, got so why I'm, and how I'm using them. So first up, in, in my first attachment, it's the Evil Sons. I've got a war boss and a weird boy. Uh, I went for a war boss because it would be follow me lads, wall or trait gives me a nine inch or effect on on wire and six inches on breaking heads. He's taken the strap from the psychic awakening side of a beast, the biggest boss, which gives him one to his wounds and attacks, and he gains a four plus invul. He's going to have the relic to kill a claw to replace the power claw. He's got the uh, combi rocket launcher and an attack squeak, which will, he's being uh, proxied by a weird boy at the moment over. But basically, I mean, he's going to be there sitting behind the boys uh, and maybe heroically intervening into some, some of the type of stuff to to sort of uh, give, stop them getting clogged down. Uh, then I've got a weird boy, he's got warp head and he's got to jump from warp path along with smite that he knows anyway. Uh, and that's uh, Pretty standard. He's there to just jump some boys out through the screens. Then I've got boys. And I've got three units of twenty nine boys, uh, and a, a knob in each of them. So that's thirty boys in total. So that's ninety boys. And in, in two of those squads, you've got the knob with power claw and slugger in the. And the other one the, the slugger is bog standard and then I've got a unit of ten boys and the knob would and the knob is just uh, standard again and that's my evil sons uh, pretty much boy, for me boys aren't me Pretty crappy melee. You then you you put them up against a prom mare or a, a, let's say a uh, destroyer unit, and they're not going to they're going to maybe move, remove one or two models from from your unit. So how I'm going to use them? They're a bit more of an expensive screen, so literally I'm going to be pushing them out up the table. Uh, protecting the stuff in the other detachments and to sort of just cut things that come into them, slow them down uh, and allow the stuff that can 
deal damage to deal damage. Uh, and that's why I've got two, two, two uh, power, uh, knobs with power claws so that, that, that they'll be able to do a little bit of damage to something. So the boss, four bosses got a weapon that can, will be, where it hits on two, twos, it will wound. on freeze most of the time we're being able to re-roll with uh, foul grooms for it as well so i'm pretty much going to get maximum i should get all five attacks out and uh score with all five wounds as well so he's, he's going to be in there pretty nice there and as I said, it, they're literally just going to screen, screen expensive screen, I, I know, but against it, most uh, armies, there'll be a few armies I can change it, but not there. My second detachment is my Bad Moons, and it's also a Dread War. Uh, and I've got two big mechs for shock attack guns in there. One has got the suit up the shock attack gun, and this is where the meat of my army is going to be in this uh, army. I then got troops, a 20 man unit of Gretchen, a 20 man unit of Gretchen, and a 10 man unit of Gretchen. Pretty much the two 10, 20 man. Uh, are going to be uh, drop shields, or at least one unit of them are going to be drop shields, and everything else will be screens. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, have more, more screens, and then I've got fourteen looters. And the that spanner, and I'm going to have the clever. He's going to have the uh, clever spanner stratagem played on him. Uh, uh, start start of the battle just to to give me those two uh, D three rolls, which are oh, on average I'm pumping out twenty eight shots, uh, but I'm all, it pretty much guarantees me three shots a turn, which is really handy with those looters and then finally into into my third detachment and in this detachment I've gone for the uh, cheeky zoggers specialist m sp specialist mob from the psychic awakening uh, basically to give I, and I'll go through it. I've got big mega and mega armor. Uh, we've got oiler, and they're there to repeat. He's there to give a custom pull, so he'll give give them all five plus in roll save. Anything within nine inches, and that's how it's going to be. Uh, then I've got a weird boy, and he's going to know smite and. The crunch, basically, he's going to, uh, which is the super sight D D6 for every model in the unit, and normal six it deals more with. It. So I'm li literally just stopping, uh, somebody coming out, and getting too close, sweating them down. And I've got three units of ten Gretchen, uh, one, or two. and then I've got a T finish unit, which are two units of four mech guns in the, the which are smasher guns, uh, and they're a heavy D three minus four D six, and because I've got the cheeky zoggers. Uh, they get their six up in ball, but that, that six up in ball 
works in melee as well as uh, against range. So I've got five up and involved against range and six up melee against melee, which will be quite handy. Uh, they're good against Primaris Marines, they're good against destroyers, they're good against Centurions. Not much, they're not good against, but I mean, that sweet spot is is between five, anything with five, uh, toughness five to seven, because you're rolling against the toughness and you have to equal it or get greater than it. And that if you get, uh, and yeah, you're gonna whip with a few, but with more, more than, in the test runs and the bits, I'm here. I'm averaging sort of three shots a tank, a, a, a met gun, and that it, it's to, doing on average nine to thirteen wounds. So that's quite a bit, and I think it will really, really. So I mean. They're going to sit in the backfield if they'll have to move forward to catch objectives with them, then fair enough. But they're just going to pound away. And because once you deploy them, they're separate units. I say separate units to uh, concentrate on. And with the looters and the... Uh, Shock attack guns, uh, everything's 48 to 60 inch range. They all we were ones to, to hit, hit. All got daka daka daka, so. Uh, I, I'm not going to need re rolls there. Which will save me com 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 command points. Uh, it means I can maybe go for that magic 11 on these shock attack guns. Uh, Evil Sun's detachment is. is I, I get a plus to the charge. And I, with here we go, I can re roll one or both of those dice, so no need, no, need, no re rolls on that. So, pretty much, I, I can, I can save my uh, re-rolls for to try and get, so I get one on the dice so if, for the number of shots I can roll a fruit, I can re-roll that, or as I said, if I, if I, if I roll rolled to six and a one on the on the shock attack gun I, I might re-roll to see if I can get that magic 11 out uh, it depends on the game and depends on what, who I'm facing but this list gives me 19 command points to start and I, at the start of the game I lose five of them so I'm down to 14 command points. I could lose more uh, if I took uh, teleport and put one of the squads of boys into into reserve. Depends on the table. Uh, I might do that, but let's see. There's 206 models. Uh, I mean, if you count the uh, bodies on the smasher guns where there's a 48 more, uh, you'll, you, it'd be 250 odd uh, models on the table. Uh, and it's 276 wounds, nearly 300 wounds to get through. It's a bit expensive using the boys as uh, screens, but 
a toughness for. Of course, so even though I could probably get more pots and get more nice, good, juicy bits in there, uh, I, 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 I think the boys will last longer if I survive one. I can green tide it and put it back. So, so I've got the option of putting that to three hundred wounds plus for my uh, opponent to get through in a turn. I think that's a lot to get for for anyone. And it is literally, I'm just going to be going for board control. And, and chipping away with my my shooting. I'm hoping that the, my shooting side will take a, a third of my opponent's army a turn. So by three turns, I'll avoid them which will allow me then to do what I like. I mean, of course, there's going to be times when it's going to be a bit more difficult for armies with a minus, minus one to hit. But I've got more Daka Daka and I, I think I can get around that. The, the uh, game the other day where I, I was playing against my Space Wolves and they had a minus one to hit six inch aura uh, and it, it took me a while to get through those units but I did get through them and once I had got through them and got rid of the, that aura it was comfortable and again I can my looters will probably have the more Daka Daka uh, on them unless it's an important target and then I'll probably put it on one of the on the suit up the shocker to, to get get the mortal wounds in uh, but it, it's really going to be case okay, see I've got two shoot agains in there uh, with the bad moon, bad moon showing off and the dreadwar Ammo one, which allows the suit top the shock attack gun to shoot twice. He's going to so, and I'll do that for a couple of rounds, first two rounds, and then I'm just trying to put the hurt on, whilst keeping the uh, opponent up at bay by, by not uh, having any space for them to uh, teleport or or move into in my half of a board and they literally yeah. will only be able to shoot at my my gun line, they won't be able to get in and tie it up, is the idea. And that will give me some breathing space for two rounds. Uh, as I said, Nick, my first game up against any other one other than my daughter would probably be Nick Nick Bear Nick <laughs> Hope you and your Necrons are feeling confident because I'm coming and I'm coming for a win. I'm going to lay some hurt down. Real bad hurt. And start readdressing that, that differential between us. Since I've been playing orcs, you've had the better of me on, on several occasions. But I'm hoping to start slowly turning that around this list. <laughs> and 
and uh, I, I have got a couple all, all gone the all games planned. One from York community, I can't remember who it was, then. Six plus Diva. That should be an interesting because it's all gone all, and that can go either way. But I'm liking what I can do, and we'll see. If I can uh, make sure sure I can stop get the cut of wins, but uh, it's mainly Nick Beer, I think, and Mr. Beer. I can't wait to play you again. It's been a long time missing playing you and getting on your table. Catch you soon. Thank you for watching. If you've been have enjoyed, please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also, feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.